Lakeside Cabins is a public workshop located just west of Summersville. It sits on the shores of what was once Summersville Lake, now just a shadow of its former glory. These cabins were once rented out to those who wanted to vacation at the lake. In the real world, the closest place that can be connected to Lakeside Cabins is Summersville Lake Retreat. You might remember this name from my previous video about Landview Lighthouse. This retreat is the location that the lighthouse was based off from. This place has a variety of cabins to rent, some camping areas, as well as a variety of assorted entertainment activities that can be taken advantage of while you stay there. The main feature here is the lighthouse. While the Fallout version does not have all of this, it does have the cabins. There are four cabins in all. Two are within the border of the workshop, while the other two are just outside on either side of the workshop. As you look at the cabins from the road, the farthest left cabin has a trailer parked next to it. It has a sorted loop, but nothing of note. The next cabin is within the workshop. It also has a sorted loop, but nothing of note. There is a wood resource on the side of the cabin. On the back porch is a tinker's workbench. There is also a crystal resource near the cabin's back porch. This cabin also has a large dock area that once connected to the lake. The next cabin is the largest cabin of them all. This one is a two-story cabin with a sorted loot inside. There are two resources near this cabin, one lead and one silver. There is also a Poseidon power box on the fence, and when players complete the Powering Up Poseidon quest, this box will provide power to the area. On the back porch is a chemistry workbench. This cabin also has a large dock that connected to the lake. On the second floor, in one of the bedrooms, there is a note. Reading this note, I remember when Raj and I first moved here by the lake. It was so special. Now, it's just a stinking, rotting miasma. Just like him. We don't find out who this Raj is, as this is the only time the name is mentioned. We do know, based on the note, that Raj owned a place here at Lakeside Cabins. The note was written by another person, presumably his wife or girlfriend, and from the note we can infer that Raj is dead. The person who wrote this note seems to be resentful. This is all the information we get here. The final cabin is the smallest one, but also the most mysterious. This house has a breaker box on the outside near the back porch, and inside the cabin next to the back door is a hopper. We can't interact with these things, and it seems as though there was a bigger plan for this location that never got implemented. I hope this gets added in a future update. After the Wastelanders update, there is a settler that will spawn here. Well, that's it for Lakeside Cabins. Did you find the last cabin as interesting as I did? What do you think might be done in a future update? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like and subscribe for more content. As always, I'm just glad you stopped by, and I'll see you in the next one.